We are hearing from a mother feeling so much hurt after the loss of her daughter. Chast Chastity Bosarge was found dead earlier this month in Theodore. Her mother says it was no accident. She sat down with News 5's Alan Carter, who is live at the Mobile County Sheriff's Office. Alan? And Roseanne, she felt it important to talk for two reasons. One, she thinks a killer is still out there. And two, she hopes her daughter's story can be a cautionary tale. It's a time of year Joyce Zerlot always looks forward to, but these holidays will be a lot less whole. This is her and her sister. The picture's a reminder of what was lost. Cut off. Everybody loves chastity. It hasn't even been a month since Joyce found out her daughter was dead. Chastity Bosarge's body found in this marsh off Rebel Road, even before getting the news. Zerlot knew. And then I started getting calls. But I wanted to get myself prepared to hear it because I knew what was going to be said. I mean, there was no doubt in my mind. Detectives believe Bosarge was dumped here, but are still unsure if it may be drug related or if something more ominous happened. Her mother has no doubt. I know. I know she's killed. Do I feel like I know exactly how she was? No, I don't. I know. But in her heartbreak, she hopes her daughter can still save lives. I really had been worried about Chastity because she was doing meth off and on. I just wanted to put my hands on her. I wanted to hug her. I wanted to hug her and tell her I love her. One last time. Because I love her with all my heart. And I always did. I felt like I was too hard on her. And I think this tough love, I think people ought to think twice before they do tough love. Because I've done tough love on her. And I am so regretful I've done that. I don't think that's what you should do. I honestly think you should love them. Do you can't love them anymore? And we did reach out to the sheriff's department again. At this point, they say they are still awaiting toxicology reports to determine an official cause of death. Reporting live in Mobile, Alan Carter, News 5.